In the sprawling facilities of Boeing, 800 employees recently received news that shook the aerospace industry to its core. Up to 400 of them could soon lose their jobs, all because the future of NASA's most ambitious rocket program hangs by a thread. But in the shadows of this $24 billion giant, a smaller, nimbler spacecraft has been quietly proving itself. SpaceX's Dragon capsule, developed for just $3 billion, has already carried astronauts safely to orbit multiple times. And now it might hold the key to saving America's return to the moon. The numbers tell a striking story. NASA's Orion spacecraft, 26 tons, billions over budget, and years behind schedule. Dragon, 9.5 tons, on budget and already flying. As the SLS program faces potential cancellation, a bold alternative is emerging, one that could transform our path back to lunar exploration. Today, we're diving deep into how SpaceX's Dragon could become America's unexpected ticket back to the moon. We'll break down the engineering challenges, explore the political hurdles, and reveal why this commercial spacecraft might just be our best shot at reaching lunar soil faster and cheaper than anyone thought possible. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest in space innovation and technology. Let's dive right in. The story of America's return to the moon isn't just about rockets and spacecraft. It's about dreams, determination, and the bold vision of those who dare to challenge conventional wisdom. For decades, NASA's Space Launch System stood as the cornerstone of our lunar ambitions, a towering monument to traditional aerospace engineering. But today, that foundation is crumbling. At Boeing's facilities across America, 800 dedicated employees who poured their hearts into the SLS program now face an uncertain future. Sarah Chen, a propulsion engineer with 15 years of experience, received the news during a routine morning briefing. We've put our lives into this program, she says, her voice trembling. It's not just a job, it's our contribution to humanity's future in space. Up to 400 of these skilled professionals might soon join the ranks of the unemployed. Not because they failed, but because the $24 billion program they dedicated their careers to is teetering on the edge of cancellation. The signs of trouble have been mounting. The SLS program, conceived in 2011, promised to launch by 2016. Six years of delays followed, each setback eating away at public confidence and congressional support. Tom Martinez, a senior systems integrator, remembers the endless nights spent troubleshooting technical issues. We knew we were building something unprecedented, he recalls, but watching years slip by while SpaceX kept launching, that was hard to swallow. When the rocket finally roared to life in its first and only launch, the celebration was bittersweet. Behind the scenes, cost overruns had ballooned to staggering proportions. The Orion spacecraft alone has consumed $20.5 billion since 2006. Ground infrastructure upgrades swallowed another $5.7 billion. In total, American taxpayers have invested $49 billion in these programs, 42.5% more than initial estimates. Each dollar spent represents countless hours of dedication, innovation, and hope. But in the world of aerospace, necessity breeds innovation. Enter an unlikely hero, SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft. Born from a modest $3 billion NASA contract in 2014, Dragon accomplished in six years what many thought impossible. The moment Dragon first carried astronauts to orbit, it didn't just break the Russian monopoly on space transportation. It shattered decades of assumptions about how space programs should work. Dr. Maria Rodriguez, a former NASA flight director, witnessed this transformation firsthand. When Dragon first docked with the ISS, we weren't just watching a spacecraft arrive. We were watching the future of space exploration unfold before our eyes. The speed, the efficiency, the innovation, it was revolutionary. The contrast between Dragon and Orion tells a compelling story of efficiency versus excess. While Orion grew to a massive 26 tons, Dragon remained lean at 9.5 tons. This weight difference isn't just about numbers, it's about fundamental design philosophy. Orion's bulk comes from years of changing requirements and what some might call over-engineering. Take, for example, 
The requirement that Orion must keep crew members alive in their spacesuits for seven days after a depressurization event. A scenario so unlikely it borders on the absurd. James Foster, a veteran aerospace engineer who worked on both programs, offers a unique perspective. With Orion, every problem was solved by adding more systems, more redundancy, more weight. Dragon took a different approach. Elegant solutions that accomplished more with less. It's like comparing a luxury tank to a high-performance sports car. But Dragon's potential as a lunar spacecraft isn't just about its lighter weight, it's about practical, proven capabilities. The spacecraft has already demonstrated reliable life support systems, robust thermal protection, and precise navigation in Earth orbit. These aren't theoretical capabilities. They're battle-tested features that have kept real astronauts safe on multiple missions. The real game-changer lies in the launch system. While SLS struggles with a per-launch cost exceeding $4 billion, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy stands ready at a fraction of the price. A lunar mission using Falcon Heavy would cost NASA around $200 million, less than 5% of an SLS launch. This isn't just cost-cutting, it's a complete paradigm shift in space economics. Dr. Lisa Chen, an orbital mechanics specialist, puts it into perspective. With the money saved from a single SLS launch, we could fund 20 Falcon Heavy missions. Think about that. 20 opportunities to test, learn, and improve versus one all-or-nothing shot. Critics argue that Dragon wasn't designed for lunar missions, but this overlooks the spacecraft's adaptability. Yes, modifications would be needed. The communication system would need upgrades to operate beyond GPS range. The heat shield would require reinforcement for lunar return velocities. But these are engineering challenges, not insurmountable barriers. Garrett Reisman, a former astronaut and consultant, has laid out a practical path forward. Dragon could be launched separately on a Falcon 9, then rendezvous with a propulsion module launched on another rocket, a technique NASA perfected during the Gemini program. We're not reinventing the wheel, Reisman explains. We're applying proven techniques in innovative ways. That's how real progress happens in space exploration. The technical breakthrough came in early 2023, when SpaceX engineers successfully tested a modified version of Dragon's heat shield material at lunar return velocities. This quiet achievement, barely noticed by the media, proved that Dragon's basic design could handle the extreme conditions of a lunar mission. But here's where the story takes an unexpected turn. Despite Dragon's proven track record and potential cost savings, NASA's leadership has resisted this alternative. According to a former NASA administrator, the proposal to use Dragon instead of Orion was completely rejected in 2020. The reason? They claim Dragon would need so many modifications it would just look a lot like Orion. This resistance reveals a deeper truth about space exploration. Sometimes the biggest obstacles aren't technical but institutional. The SLS program, while technically impressive, has become entangled with political interests. Its primary function, some argue, isn't space exploration, but maintaining a steady flow of funding to various congressional districts. This creates a perverse incentive structure where delays and cost overruns become features, not bugs. Dr. Robert Kane, a space policy expert, sees a troubling pattern. When you have a program that's too big to fail, it often becomes too big to succeed. The fear of change becomes greater than the desire for progress. The human cost of this situation extends beyond Boeing's potential layoffs. Every dollar spent on maintaining the status quo is a dollar not invested in innovative solutions. Every year delayed is another year that American astronauts remain earthbound, watching as other nations advance their lunar ambitions. Sarah Thompson, a young engineer who recently left the SLS program for a position at a commercial space company, shares her perspective. I believed in SLS. I still believe in the people who work on it. But at some point, you have to ask yourself, are we building the future of space exploration or are we maintaining the past? Yet hope remains. The space industry is evolving rapidly, driven by companies that prioritize results over tradition. SpaceX has demonstrated that commercial approaches can achieve what was once thought possible only for superpower nations. Their success with Dragon isn't just about building a better spacecraft, it's about proving that bold, efficient approaches to space exploration can work. 
In a surprising development, several former SLS engineers have begun working on proposals to adapt Dragon for lunar missions. Their preliminary studies suggest that the modifications could be completed in less than two years, a timeline that would have seemed impossible under traditional aerospace development cycles. As we stand at this crucial juncture in space exploration history, the choice becomes clear. We can either cling to expensive, delayed programs out of institutional inertia, or embrace innovative solutions that could accelerate our return to the moon. Dragon represents more than just an alternative to Orion. It symbolizes a new way of thinking about space exploration, one that prioritizes efficiency, practicality, and results over bureaucracy and tradition. Michael Zhang, a systems engineer working on Dragon's life support systems, sees a broader significance. Every time we simplify a system, every time we find a more efficient solution, we're not just saving money, we're making space more accessible. That's how we'll become a truly spacefaring species. The technology exists. The launch vehicles are ready. The engineering challenges have solutions. The only question that remains is whether we have the courage to change course. Dragon's potential as a lunar spacecraft isn't just about technical specifications or cost savings. It's about choosing a path that could reignite America's leadership in space exploration and inspire a new generation to reach for the stars. Recent wind tunnel tests have shown that Dragon's heat shield design, with relatively minor modifications, could handle the intense heating of lunar return trajectories. This technical achievement, combined with the spacecraft's proven reliability in orbit, makes the case for Dragon as a lunar vehicle stronger than ever. For now, the future remains uncertain. But one thing is clear, the race back to the moon won't be won by the biggest rocket or the most expensive spacecraft. It will be won by those who dare to challenge conventional wisdom and find smarter, more efficient ways to extend humanity's reach into the cosmos. Dragon might just be the key that unlocks this new era of space exploration, if we're bold enough to use it. The decision we make today about America's path back to the moon won't just affect the immediate future of space exploration. It will set the precedent for how we approach every major space endeavor that follows. The choice between Dragon and SLS isn't just about hardware, it's about whether we're ready to embrace a new era of space exploration where innovation and efficiency take precedence over tradition and bureaucracy. Dr. Emily Chen, a material scientist working on thermal protection systems, puts it eloquently, every spacecraft we build carries not just astronauts, but our values, our priorities, and our vision for humanity's future in space. Dragon shows us that we can dream big while staying grounded in practical reality. As we've seen throughout space history, the most successful missions often come from choosing the bold path forward, even when it means departing from established norms. Dragon's potential as a lunar spacecraft represents exactly such an opportunity, a chance to prove that the future of space exploration belongs to those who dare to think differently. Looking ahead, the implications of this decision extend far beyond just reaching the moon. The approach we choose now will influence how we plan future missions to Mars, how we establish permanent lunar bases, and how we develop the infrastructure needed for sustainable space exploration. By embracing more efficient, commercially driven solutions like Dragon, we could accelerate not just our return to the moon, but our entire journey into becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. The writing is on the wall. The era of costly, single-use space systems is coming to an end. The future belongs to adaptable, efficient spacecraft like Dragon that can evolve to meet new challenges while maintaining fiscal responsibility. The question isn't whether this transition will happen, but whether NASA will lead this change or be forced to follow it. As we conclude this deep dive into Dragon's lunar potential, remember that space exploration has always been about more than just reaching new destinations. It's about proving that humanity can overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges through innovation, determination, and the courage to choose new paths when old ones no longer serve us. Dragon's story might just be the beginning of the most exciting chapter yet in America's space journey. The story of Dragon's potential journey to the moon isn't just about spacecraft and launch vehicles. It's about the power of innovation to transform what we once thought impossible into reality. As we watch the traditional aerospace industry grapple with mounting costs and delays, 
Dragon stands as a testament to what determined engineers and fresh thinking can achieve. The choice before us is clear. We can hold on to familiar but costly approaches or embrace the bold, efficient solutions that could accelerate our return to lunar soil. Dragon's journey from a modest spacecraft to a potential moon mission candidate shows us that sometimes the best path forward isn't the one we initially planned. Speaking of innovation and space exploration, our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest developments in space technology and SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. If you found this deep dive into Dragon's lunar potential valuable, be sure to hit that like button and share it with fellow space enthusiasts. Subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours to stay updated on all the latest developments in space exploration and innovation. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on Dragon's potential as America's next moonship. I'd love to hear your perspective on this game-changing possibility. Until next time, keep looking up and dreaming big.